faithful truth. John 8 and 32 says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Power to lift you up, power to set you free. We need a power lift, the truth will set you free. Living in faith with truth, receive the word you need. Power of the gospel ministries, preach the word indeed. We're here to help each other, witness the truth and protect each other. So we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other. So let your worship cry, let your praise out. Now let the truth offend you, release that holy shout. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Once again, this is Reverend Red and the beautiful Lady Crystal. Hey, hey, and, y'all. And then we here again, Lady K, another excited, wonderful, blessed, anointed show on tonight. Boy, there's going to be some great information coming from a po- two powerful guests on tonight. Oh, my God. The dynamic duo. Boy, this is going to be great. I'm excited. I've been reading up on the in this couple right here, and well, y'all need to sit down, put your seatbelt on, buckle up because yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find out some business how these people are doing some work for the kingdom of God. I am Pastor Raymond Henry, aka Reverend Red. I want to personally not invite you, but welcome you because you are already here. So if you hear my voice, I ain't gotta invite you. Let you know that you are here. Um, get ready to be blessed, to be excited because we have a great and exciting show for you tonight. Let's start off with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come, we thank you, we bless you, we glorify you, Father God. We're calling you on tonight, Father God, to just overlook, Father God, this show. Overlook, Father God, the Positive Power 21 family, Father God. We pray, Father God, that you bless our producer, bless the family, Father God, bless our guests, bless our listeners, listening audience, Father God, and everyone that will listen to the replays, Father God. We pray that everything that we do, everything that we say, glorify you in every way, Father God. So someone will be uplifted, someone will be equipped, someone will be edified in their walk with you, Father God. And if they don't know you, Father God, something is said tonight that will make them ask, what shall I do to be saved? And we'll be prepared to give them an answer. Father God, we thank and we bless you. It's in Jesus' name we do pray. We say amen, amen, and... Amen again. Lady amen. K, you ready? Oh, yes, I'm ready. You ready for me? Man, I, I am ready. I, I tell you what, Lady K, you know, um, I, I, I've been telling people we've been having a, um, a just an exciting show. Last week was just the truly a blessing we tell hey we tell the batman like man we work for positive power 21 radio guess what mm-hmm. we are we are always ready jerry the bible said be that's right you know be ready so we are always ready to step up and 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 do what needs to be done um to promote this this radio station to promote the blessing that we have but most of all to promote the gospel of christ amen, amen. so tonight Tonight, we're going to ask you, just like I said, give, give the Holy Spirit 45 to 50 minutes, and we're going to really, really bless you with this interesting interview, the interesting guest that we're going to have on tonight. But before we go on, we're going to have Lady Kay come with our announcement and our introduction of our guest. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Let me invite you to our website, powerofthegospel.org. You can connect with us on all of our social media also if you are interested and in need of a coach a ministry mentor a marriage coach a relationship coach check out mymentor.life backslash crystal henry check out my profile um you can you can also Uh, Go through Coach Crystal Henry on YouTube and find some great tips that will help you with your relationships, whether it's marriage, whether it's courting, whether it's just your friends, your girlfriends, or if you just need some life help, go to Coach Crystal Henry on YouTube. I'm so excited that I am now serving the UK. So no matter where you are, you can be coached in the United States or outside the United States. Again, that's Coach Crystal Henry at gmail.com. 
So with that being said, I am so very excited about our guests on tonight. Um, the Lord brought them together just like the Lord brought us together. And so we have Mr. and Mrs. Devil Slayer. They um, are uh, Dwayne and Kia. They, it wasn't love at first sight, but they built a relationship from the Holy Spirit. They were in a play together that sh- that they were acting <laughs> as a love. <laughs> uh-huh. Turned it out and made them a love interest, and they are still together today. And that is some exciting news. They have grown in love. They've grown in friendship. They've grown into a wonderful marriage. They have some great love chapters that they have built up in, and they are part of the Positive Power 21 media family. So let's welcome Mr. and Mrs. Devil Slayer to Power List. All right, all right, all right. Give them a hand. All right, all right. All yeah. Right. Woo-hoo. We're here, we're here, we're here. <laughs> yes. Dwayne and Kia. I want to share something with you, man. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you for gosh, having love us. Your energy. So oh my gosh. No problem. No problem, man. That's hey. That's the only one way to serve our Almighty God and our Savior because He gives us life and He gives us life that's more abundantly. So we yes. can't be on a we can't be in a gospel show be being dead about the Lord. No, we got to be excited about Him. And I'm reading about you guys. I'm hearing about you guys. I even listen to one, one of your episodes. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. I see y'all. I, I see that one time y'all was beatboxing and all that. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 I love yeah. that because, you know, for some reason, people believe, I hope people, our married couple is listening right now, people believe once you get married as a Christian, everything is boring. You know, you can't wear nothing. You can't mm-hmm. dance. You can't. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Me and my wife' name is. Our our name, like y'all are the Devil Slayers. We call uh-huh. ourselves Team Team Sexy, baby. Uh, yeah, come, on <laughs> come on now. Come on now. Sure. Sweet to you, Amen. That's right. We team sexy. We save, 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 and sexy. You know. No, that's no, that's right. right. I like that. Sure. Yeah, I like that. Sexy, when did uh-huh. sex become a bad thing? You know, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So my, my wife is telling me about the whole time. Okay, amen. I, I hear you. But let, let's let's get right. I got to get to these questions right here and really get to know you guys because to our listening audience, we want to okay. let our listening audience know that we are meeting you guys too. This is not rehearsed. I didn't expect you right. some pre, you know, some early pre questions for you to have a pre answer. I'm I'm mm-hmm. meeting you for the first time too, and this is the way I like it because it really keeps me tuned in and like, okay, yes, I want to meet these people. First of all, Devil Slayer, okay, <laughs> Devil Slayer. You know, when somebody, you know, that's a powerful name. That's yeah. a, um, um, mm-hmm. Some people might say, man, because I have people say this all the time, Kia and and and, and uh, Dwayne. I hear people say, man, I don't want to mess with the devil, man. If I just sit mm-hmm. over here mind my business, I don't want to mess with the devil. And I'm trying to ask, what God do you serve? Come on now. Because the devil, the, the devil that I know, Satan, is afraid of mm-hmm. our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's so right. if you walk in the power, you know, you put mm-hmm. a name on you like Devil Slayer, and the mm-hmm. devil knows that you mm-hmm. know that you're a mm-hmm. Devil Slayer, then yes. guess what? He, he, my wife would always say in the Bible said, you know, that he was free to make 10,000 slay. I'm, I'm, um, um, misquoting it, butchering it right now, but my <laughs> wife will quote it in a minute. But, Thousands but, of but, There you go. There you go, that. baby. No, I want to ask you the name Devil Slayer. The, <laughs> the origin of it, who made it up, how did it come up, how did it come up, and what's the, and let the audience know. Some, some people might not know. What's the meaning behind that? What does that mean, Devil Slayer? Yes, yes, go yes. Go ahead. That, that, that was the name with the invention, a, a, a new idea that God had given me. And now what happened okay. was that you know, when I was in the world, I used to do a regular rap. And when I used to rap, mm-hmm. I used to even the steps of rapping with a knife in my hand. My name was Grim Reaper. That, that was oh. my stage name. 
Yeah, so oh, I am. All know, right, great, MC Grim Reaper. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, no, no, I ain't no Grim Reaper anymore. Because that, that was okay. a dark life. Drinking. Yeah, right, right. Drinking. You know, you know, it, it was that life. And that, that was a life in the world. And so once I got saved, I never realized so much of how I was. The devil was using me as this pawn. Okay? Mm-hmm. So. Once I found that out, I was so like, oh, no, we got the, the mm-mm. how many other people have been blinded? You know, the veil was lifted off of my eyes. So one day I wrote a poem. Uh, God led me to write a poem. And um, I tried out. I, I, I tried out for my drama ministry. And um, next thing I knew, the name stuck, Devil Slayer. So I used to go around the city uh, doing, a, what, do you, what do you call it, a spoken word. Uh, okay, just, okay. Just, putting down Satan, letting, laying them low, and raising up Jesus on a pedestal. Before I knew it, I had people calling me to their house to, 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 to pray for them and, 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 and release Amen. demons and stuff like that. So the yeah. name stuck, Devil Slayer. And that became my Amen. rap name. And now it's a, a name. And not, now my wife is Devil Slayer by default because she married me. <laughs> she married me. Well, well, you know, it's... it's, it's <laughs> okay, so 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 Kia, when when you when you first met him, did he did he introduce himself as Devil Slayer? No, I. You know what I? Mm. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a story, Kia. That's a story. Go ahead. Take me back. Take me back. Okay. I didn't even know anything about Devil Slayer. I didn't even know anything about his stage name, and uh, that's another story to go into more detail and at another time. But no, um, I had known of him. But I knew that he his name was Dwayne Matthews, and that okay. was about it. Okay. And he introduced himself so. as Dwayne Matthews. He never introduced himself as Double Flair. Okay. I I just thought you know y'all met, went on a date, he took you to the park, and all of a sudden he ripped the shirt over and go. Da, da, da! Oh, my <laughs> <birthday>. <laughs> He had so many, okay. so many songs written when I met him. I'm like, what? Yeah. what? Okay. yeah, he never really led with any of that, you know, his music or anything like that, which made it, made him attracted to me. But, um, okay. Yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you this. So I'm going to let Lady K jump in it because I'm, I'm kind of hogging the beginning now. Lady K's coming. <laughs> let me ask you this, though. No, let me ask you this. Did, um... Um, are you a rapper or are you a singer? Do you or do you do both? Amazing. I'm the rapper. She's the. Uh, I'm the vocalist, but I also do spoken word as well, and yeah. okay. you know, cool rap as well, but mainly cool. Uh, cool. singing. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Lady K. I know I didn't. I didn't hog the beginning. I'm sorry. You <laughs> were getting good to me. Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, uh, let's see. Can you tell us? what your upbringing was, how you grew up to the Lord. My husband or myself? You. Uh-huh. Me, okay. Sure, sure. So I was I was raised in the church, actually, but I was brought up AME Zion. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, raised in the church, my mother was a stickler, actually, um, for take, making sure everyone in the family you know, was in the church. We went on Sundays, my mother and my father, my brother. So that's what I knew. But of course, I didn't really have a relationship, relationship like I do now, but I was exposed and I knew what it was to go to church with my family. You know, I knew what that was like. It was incorporated in our family life. And um, even a young age, I was also involved in the choir, you know, the expressive arts, worship arts. So I was involved in that at a young age. Um, using my gifts, I started using my gifts at a young age, and my mom made sure, <laughs> made sure to involve me in those activities. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and me? Uh, oh, go on. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Okay, me? Yeah, um, my church was um, Easter. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. At least so you have one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't have any names like Grim Reaper, but I was <laughs> in the world. I was worldly. I was a worldly artist. You know, I went to school for the arts. I was involved in worldly 
uh, plays and things like that. And so, um, but you know what? I still, God still had his hand upon me because I still was involved in, you know, liturgical dance, but not in the magnitude that I am now because there comes a point in time in the artist's life where you just have to decide who, who you're going to use and surrender your, your gifts to. That's true. And it's like, That's true. Yeah. So I wasn't really at that place. You know, I was involved in liturgical dance and it was cool. It was cute, but I still was. <laughs> I still was involved in the world, you know, the world. Right, right. Oh, I know that. I know that battle. We know that battle. Worldly music, worldly, yeah. you know, yeah. accepting yeah. roles. Yeah. Were, yeah, just looking up to the world. Yeah. Uh, right, right. Yeah, and I and I was the one that was the 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 person like um, the the rappers Jay Z or yeah. you know any of those Beyonce. guys. Yeah. You know, I was one of the people were looking at, and um, it, what what so so what I was into is religious wise. Notice I said religious, not spiritual, but religious wise. I was into, you know, uh, Islam, Taoism, Buddhism. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, I even dipped into some voodoo and all of that stuff. You know, and because wow. of the people that were around. So um, that's why when I came, when when when, when the veil was just out of my eyes. I was like, oh, no, Satan, you didn't. <laughs> you know? Devil Slayer, bam. So. Yeah. That's, yeah. Wow, that's good. That's cool. That is mm-hmm. cool. That mm-hmm. is cool. So what was, the, what was the pivotal moment that caused you, caused the veil to be lifted? Because, you know, some people, they have yeah. to. For me, I lost my um, a job. It was like the mm-hmm. most money I ever made. And that yeah. was that what made me see, like, wait a minute, I need to go mm-hmm. to church. Um, yeah. So what was it that caused you to, cause the veil to rise, cause you to seek the Lord? The second stint that I got out of jail. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I, I, I love I, that. I love yeah, that. I, Transparency. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, come man. on now. Come on. Mm-hmm. Testify. Come mm-hmm. on. Please do. Come on now. Let me tell you something. I, listen, I, you know, I was doing my dirty, you know, I was doing the dirty and, you know, I was, I was making a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money, if you know what I mean, mm-hmm. and so I, um, uh, I was, I wasn't a man, I wasn't being a man, I wound up um, getting arrested once, um, it was lies, but I still got arrested, and then because I was doing the wrong things, I got lied upon again, and got arrested, and thank God I didn't have to do any real hard time. But once I got out, I still remember I was in that seedy little hotel, and I was and I was like, you know what? Something got to give. Something got to give. And uh, there was mm-hmm. a green little Bible there, and I was like, okay, you know what? I need to get more spiritual. Don't ask me what I was saying because I didn't know what I was saying. But I was like, you know what? I I I prayed to a God. I I spoke to a God that I did not ever speak to, and I said, you know what? I want, I need to get more spiritual. Mm. I need to get wow. more spiritual. I need to know Jesus. And then I, I asked him, I asked God, I said, but can a, can a Muslim believe in Jesus? And I left it mm. at that. Two weeks later, I met a woman who was smiling on the train and she was just so happy. And she, she, she was dressed in the artistic garb. Arti- artistically, it was art- nice. She looked like she was a painter. And, okay. and I looked at him, and me and my negative demeanor, I was like, she must be gay or something. Who knows? And, and, okay. and, and she smiled, smiled, and I walked over and said, what are you smiling for? You're so happy. And she said, oh, because my Lord Jesus Christ is a There you go. Amen. I said, I said Jesus. He said, well, tell me some more about him. And she told me some more about him. She, she, she guided me to a church, and bam, I got saved that day. Wow. Wow. See, now that's a testimony. I love this, man. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. That's a testimony. You don't, you don't already made this show already, because this is what this show is about. You know, if someone yeah. is listening right now, probably going through the same story that you're going through, and don't yeah. know how, don't know why, but when they hear testimonies like this, yeah. wow. That's great. Go ahead, Lady K. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, though. This is great. Yeah, no, that was, that was my question for both of them. Okay, okay. Well, well Kia, did you share yours? I don't think Kia shared hers. That was his Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, go ahead, uh, go for ahead me, Kia. My, go ahead. Uh, so for me, my pivotal moment, I would say, was, was when I, I went off to college. My, I want to say my 
my second semester of college. Uh, <laughs> my first semester, I just got everything out of my system, you know, but <laughs> it, was, it was almost as if the Lord was, he was just, he, he was just planning for the moment. But I um, went to church one day, as I always did growing up, and that day was different because uh, the woman of God, she was preaching, and um, it was something about the message that had deeply convicted me about certain things that I was doing that was sin, and I knew in the back of the room in the corner wasn't right. And it was in that moment where I believe God was looking for open hearts and open minds, and I accepted the invitation, and I went up, and a friend of mine also, we both went up, and we just lifted our hands up to allow the Holy Spirit You know, at the time, I didn't know, but the Holy Spirit, the presence of God, the tangible Shekinah glory of God to come down and just cleanse us. And for the first time, that was, I believe, I I never felt the power of God like that. It was almost as if there was a bucket of water that poured, that was being poured over my, and Mm. yeah, and I couldn't stop just, I was crying and I couldn't stop thanking the Lord. I was, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. And I was praising God for about 10, 15 minutes. Church was over, still praising God. (laughs) And so my friend and I, we both, we left that church just light as a feather. Mm -hmm. And I remember going back to my dorm room just taking everything that was um, every every romantic novel and every every secular song that I felt didn't cater to the lifestyle that I was professing or that I desired, and I threw everything away. I just threw it away. Wow, <laughs> you wow, know? wow. Okay. God had just stripped me of certain tastes and desires that I had that day. And I remember mm-hmm. opening up my Bible for the first time and and understanding it. And, 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 and the rest of history, you know, I've been serving mm-hmm. the Lord and I've been on fire for God ever since. And that's just a short uh, version. That's... Amen. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Man, that, that, is, that, is, that is amazing. Let me tell you, I am captivated by those two testimonies right there. That done already mm-hmm. made our show powerful, <laughs> you know. But, <laughs> but here, you know, now, now I'm to be nosy now. Can I be nosy now? <laughs> yes, you can. Can I be? <laughs> lady, lady, lady K, you know I can get nosy, right? <laughs> Now you know when I when, when I met when I met my wife, right? You know I was out there in the streets. Being my name was Red Dog, R E D D D O double G, like okay. double G. Dog. Yeah, yeah, I was Red Dog. Yeah, so that was that was my street name. Red Dog was rolling, had my little Volvo with the twenty twos on it, you know, and I was rolling. Right. You know, then all, all right. of a sudden she she was in the parking lot. She chased my car, talking about Red Red Dog. <laughs> <Lord. laughs> I let her. I let her tell her part of this story. That's my version. Okay, <laughs> my man, my yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, here's what I. This is about you guys. Let me let me ask you this. Okay, mm-hmm. you say y'all met in a play. What what happened? Uh, um, Devil Slay. I'm going to you first. What happened? Did you just see this girl and you just go, oh, okay. And then okay. we playing a love interest. It was like, oh, okay. <laughs> we want to hear that love story right there. Go ahead. Okay, 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 okay. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. we actually, we, we didn't start out as um, actor, co- co-actors, mm-hmm. right? Okay. We, we, what we actually met was at a church picnic. Yeah, it was at a church function. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And in and, and all actuality, I was coming out of pastor class. And um, a fellow um, cl- a classmate uh, just handed me the phone and said, here, uh, give, give my friend directions on how to get to the picnic, mm-hmm. church picnic. So, and so I spoke to Kia for the first time over the telly, and I, I gave her directions on how to get to the picnic. And so I said, when you, when you reach the, with the park, call me so that I can meet you wherever you're at. And so I went to the park and I forgot that I had my phone on mute, you know, because we passed the class, I had to mute the phone. <laughs> so he had, a, he had such a dramatic <laughs> voicemail. My goodness. <laughs> so, so here it is. I'm, I'm having fun eating and, and, and chilling with, the, with everybody that's there. And I just remember, oh, my God, 
the girl. I'm like, oh no. So I, I took the phone off the mute and here she go calling. I looked at, she had called like 19, 20 times. And she was like, <laughs> and she was like, I was like, Oh my God. A soliloquy on his voicemail. I'm like, boy. <laughs> so, so I'm like, oh, hey, hi, how you doing? She's like, this, you know what? I'm going home. I was looking, looking all over the place. I'm going. I was like, no, 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 no. Don't go. Don't go. I'm like, where are you at? Let me know where you're at and I'll come to you. So I directed her to me. And while we were talking, I told her that, you know, you know, I gave her my description so that she know, knew who I was, you know, how she could find me. And I said, I'm 6'5". And she said, six, five. Ooh. <laughs> right? oh, whoa, whoa. All right. Okay, now. That's what I <laughs> so, so, you know, I ignored that. I ignored it. But I, I was like, yeah, okay. So, and, okay, Matt. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, oh, we so. Be your side. Trust me. Just hold on. So, I remember. So, I said that. I, she said that she used to go to my church. And I said, oh, okay, I said, what happened? And she's like, wow, you're kind of nosy, aren't you? Butting all into my, my, my business. I should have known about it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, no problem. So, so when I finally got to when I find, when I finally met her, I was like, okay, she's cute. She's cute. Yeah. And then for the rest of the picnic, she would not leave me alone. <laughs> just stalking you. I've heard. Stalking you the whole time. <laughs> I, 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 I know the feeling. Like the I, I, I know the feeling, man. Just stalking you the whole time. You know, bringing you hot dogs and with mayonnaise and and rub and ketchup, whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> no, but he he was awesome though. He you definitely could tell that he had a pastoral anointing upon him because he definitely made me feel safe and secure at the picnic and everyone thought for some reason we were together but flashback yeah yeah um i was coming out of actually a relationship so um a sister from the church she kept inviting me to these picnics for some reason and you know I, i no longer was attending the church uh that was holding the picnics but she kept inviting me inviting me inviting me and I said, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to go, you know, try to get my mind off of what I'm going through. Maybe this will be good for me. You know, I'm now open to possibly maybe dating and, you know, maybe dating outside of, I used to actually, um, <laughs> I used to, I used to be in a relationship with a Caucasian man, so it never okay. dawned on me that I ever would be with a black man. Anyway, okay. that wasn't just, that wasn't on my radar. So I was um, open to the idea at the moment, you know, so. I'm going to the picnic, and uh, that's when, you know, my friend at the time, she she's like, oh, here, um, here, Kia, speak to my friend, and, you know, you know, connects me mm-hmm. with Dwayne. But mm-hmm. I had known who Dwayne, I, I knew Dwayne, in a sense, like, I knew of him, um, but I didn't know everything about him. So, and I, and, the, and I knew his voice. So that's why when I called him and I heard his voicemail, I was like, Oh, I know this guy. I know this man. I, I know him from church. Right. And so, um, long story short, <laughs> you know, we, I, I kind of, you know, give him some attitude here and there because I'm already frustrated and I'm tired uh-huh. and I'm hot, but it was the best decision that I made long story short. Um, okay. because that was the beginning of our, you know, of our, of our relationship. Yeah. Um, right. later on. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone said that they saw the chemistry right. from day right. one right. and they thought that we were a couple, but we were yeah. not a couple. But right. again, it was something that was very authentic. It was something that was right. very, um, it was organic. It was organic. It was natural. It was, it was normal. And for me to allow another man to get close to me was very new for me as well. So, okay. Let, yeah. let me ask you this. Who seen, who did God show, um, two things that I'm pass over to Lady K. Who did God mm-hmm. show the, the marriage and the ministry to first did, um, cause sometimes uh, ladies, when you see it and God showed it to you, a lot of times y'all don't say nothing because you want God to show the head, which is the man, of mm-hmm. course. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Dwayne, did you see it and knew? Because I told, asked my wife, I, I said, baby, I'm the man. And I wasn't even in the church, wasn't saved, but it just came out my mouth. And I was a liar, whoremonger, cheater, running around in the streets. I wasn't telling no woman I loved them and I wanted to marry them. Trust me. Right. Can no woman tell you that I told them that? No, sir. Never. But this, for some reason, I'm telling this girl I've just met 
or what a week ago to whatever the time it was for Christmas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling her you're gonna be my wife, and she like mm. look at me like, "What are you? Man, please, you know." Yeah. So who mm-hmm. who did God show first? Did did you see okay. first, kid? Like, okay, this is gonna be my husband, or did God show you show to you, Dwayne? You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? You know what? Let me let me let me say this, and I'm not trying to be uh, political or be politically correct because we're both pointing a finger at each other right now. You should see. I feel like, wait, hold on. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> The reason why we have such good synergy is because it was almost amicable. It was almost an equal thing. Like, okay, like, okay. Yeah. like before she could finish the sentence, I would finish the sentence. And what I mean by that is that she said to me, listen, I'm not in this. I'm not, I'm not. When we were talking about the friendship to the courting process and so forth and so on, from the friendship to the girlfriend and boyfriend to the courting process, uh, uh, before we, w- while we were friends and we talked about it, one of the first things she said was, listen, I don't get into a relationship to just mess around. You know, I'm not a one and done type of person. You know, it's, it, it, it's exclusive. It's about me and that's it. And I don't back out and I'm looking for marriage if I get into a relationship with a person. And that was exactly how I felt. Mm. So... From okay. the time that we were first girlfriend and boyfriend on the table, it was it was written that we that marriage is the future. Am I correct about that? Can, can you yeah, say that? yeah, but go I, ahead. I think what he's looking for is you. You had some prospects. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> so it wasn't. <laughs> what, well, no, no, okay. no, 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 but okay. no, no, okay, Grim Reaper. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. He was. He was <laughs> <laughs> he was still. He didn't go ahead. I'll let you tell the the first. No, 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 no. Hey, I wasn't really, you know, on that level yet, because you know I'm just right. cute, okay. and you know he was dealing with models, and you know he had all these women. Oh, you like know he was Mr. Macy, so six hey, five. Hey, hey, hey. Great movie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, right. I forgot about that. No, 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 no. What? No, no, no. Look, look. This is what had happened. The more what had happened was <laughs> the more back here, the more Kia. Now listen. Now listen. Oh, this is real God. talk. Real talk. Now, she Kia used to come to my job and visit me, <laughs> and just pop up out of the blue. Okay. okay and okay. and but but you know where I worked and how I how I lived at that time. You know, it was I, I was I was dealing with a lot of like Kia said a lot of a lot of model type type of women with a lot of money. And, and here come kid with her cute little jeans on and some sneakers. Mm-hmm. And I'm, oh, okay, you know, that's cool. But, you know, I'm still looking over here. But what I'm mm-hmm. saying was that after, so, so, so the more that kid was in my life, the more I didn't, I wasn't attracted to yeah. those yeah. model types because See? I'm more attracted yeah. to the spirit. You see there what you I'm go. saying? I was so, about to say the anointing, so, yes, yep. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so I felt myself being attracted more and more to Kia as the more that I was Beautiful. around Beautiful. her. And that's when Kia invited me to the, to the play, you see. So, so it okay. wasn't a physical thing yet. It was yeah, a it spiritual wasn't. thing. It was. It was definitely a yeah, spiritual yeah. thing. And yeah. My yeah. guard was up. Uh, Right. And um, I just, like I said, I was attracted to the anointing on his life as well. You know, even when we went yes. to, the, we went to uh, what was it? The Church. War Room. Oh. oh, the War Room. Yeah, right. yeah. And yeah. I, I found yeah. myself sharing very personal information with him. And I'm, I was like, what in the world? Yeah, okay, <laughs> so the scene, the scene is this. After I got to meet Kia, right, everybody... Not, we our, our church was able to get us free all free tickets to go to the war room. So we went like a big a big group of people, mm-hmm. and and Kier and me were together, and we were doing most of the talking. Yeah. And then we went, and and now, ironically, when we sat in the movie theater, we were sitting. There was a big crowd of us, and we were right, right in the middle. Somehow right we next ended up sitting next to each other. Right. So <laughs> it was like, and and, and 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 then after the movie, we spent hours talking. And Kia was just so transparent about yeah, her life that I was transparent. And everybody right. was just waiting mm-hmm. for us to finish our conversation. Right. So everything seemed to meet up. And everything was like synergy, synergy. So, 
So with, fast forward now, when it had been established that Kia is a, is a person of interest and we, and I like canceled everybody else out, that's when the mm-hmm. thought of marriage in the midst took place. And that's when we talked about it and we were on okay. the same level. Yeah, it was on me. I interject. Yeah. No, mind. So, yes, marriage came into the picture okay. when we saw okay. the connection. When we saw that there was a spiritual connection, um, I felt comfortable talking to him, just divulging. I was very taken back on how open I was. I was like, wow, I could really, this, this is, I could see this going somewhere, you know? And I said, check. And then <laughs> as soon as I found right. that we could incorporate, we were business partners and we started to see each other in our craft, I said, yeah. hmm. This could be something. Had we really work well together, you know, beautiful, our chemistry beautiful. is great. I said, this could be something, you know, and that's when the progression of our relationship and even the possibility of marriage came to being because yeah. marriage is a partnership. So we're, yeah. we're also entrepreneurial in spirit as well. And so we were, yeah, yeah so that's and how everything came together. And everything, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, Man, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving this story. I, I just want to know, I know my wife probably when I ask that question, is when is the book coming out? When is the series coming out? Because oh. that's what this sounds like right here. I mean, and I'm loving it. Here's what we're going to do. Listen, time, I'm looking at the time. I'm like, oh, man, time is running out. And I got so much. We wow. haven't even got to the love chapter. We haven't got to your, wow. to your street ministry. And we're going to get to that. Wow. But before I turn you over to Lady K with her question, here's what I want to tell you. Be prepared at the end to give your, the, the time of your shows, um, um, your, your social media, your website, mm-hmm. how people can get in touch with you, okay? So I'm going to give you about two or three minutes. So you can do that before the show is over with. It's all about you now. So our listening audience can get in touch with you, call you, see what you're doing, look at your website, follow you on social media and all that. So if y'all got to write that down now, just be prepared to share that when when that comes up, okay? Lady K, go ahead, Lady K. Yes, my question is, um, what is the most powerful ministry moment that you have had as a couple? Mm, Good, good question. Wow. That's a great oh question. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So many. Um, okay, okay, I'll tell you what. It, it was before me and Kia uh, really solidified ourselves as a relationship, I think. Uh, it was when, when, when I go out to feed the homeless, okay? It's called Meals on Heels. And um, I invited her to come along. And the, what we do is we go into the train stations, into the bowels okay. of the tunnel looking for homeless people where there are communities of homeless people down there. And this is in New York, right? This is in New York? In New York. Oh, yeah, right. this is in New York. Okay, just a minute. We know Kia, where you're Okay. Yes. And Kia walked with me step by step. Okay. She didn't lie behind. She stayed right next to me. And that, and, and I mean, if I was near a homeless person that was dirty or whatever the case, Kia did not care. When I said, okay, Kia, pray, she prayed for, pray for this, uh, well, whoever it was, we, 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 we uh, brought salvation to them if they wanted it. She was there. She stuck through the dirt, everything with me. Wow. And that's when wow. I knew that. First time she went out, that's when I knew she was going to be my wife. So that, to wow. me, was the, was, was, the, was the most important ministry moment that I had with her. And I would say my most important ministry moment would be uh, us co-parenting. Uh, Dwayne has a mm. son, and I think that was probably, yeah. or still is, the most cha- was the most challenging <laughs> over the years, just yeah. seeing him through his teenage years and seeing yeah. him now, like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. We could write a book probably just on that. Well, but wow, us okay. coming together, staying up late nights, uh, speaking the word to him, him coming home. Oh my goodness. Like we have seen such a transformation in Isaiah, our son, Isaiah. And now we are pre-met. We are counseling him to get married. We are yeah. currently okay. pre, we are counseling yeah. him yeah. and he is That's receiving awesome. the word and, yeah. you know, pre- we're preparing him for marriage, but yeah. it, it took some time yeah. for us to get him to the place where he is now. Yeah. And it was not easy. It wasn't easy for yeah. me coming into the situation. And I yeah. believe that 
that was the most we had to come together on many, you know, uh, it's your turn, tags. Okay, you gonna go talk to him? Okay. Am I gonna talk to you? Who's gonna go talk to him? We, we, we come in from work tired, you're like, oh god. No, we, we have to we have to deal with this school, everything, calling the teachers. It was we had to become a team, yeah. you know, and um that was those that season, I should say, we're in a different season now, but I'm just yeah. looking back as you asked that question. For me, I would say um, it took a lot of maturity and growth, you know, for me to come out of myself to be that step parent and to, you know, uh, parent Isaiah. Yeah. And there were some growing pains, I think, for us yeah. all. We had to oh, yeah, change yeah. our yeah. dynamics of parenting. Like, I, I'm a teacher at heart, so I couldn't see Isaiah as my student in order for me to have that best relationship with him. I had to change that. I had to get rid of the way I was even raised it, to embrace him as my son. So there was a lot of growing for all of us and, and being a blended family. And, and we're still growing now, but to just know that where he is now and in his walk with the Lord and just receiving uh, the wisdom that we poured into him, it's just yeah. a great feeling of Beautiful. the labor that we've gone through. Beautiful. And yeah. see, that, that, that's dynamic in yeah. my mind. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. That that is beautiful. Yeah. Wow, that is that is beautiful. You know, and I, and I and I see here where you actually um, shared your meals on on heels. What do you do? And I love love that. So the meals on wheels, meals on heels. Me, you you on your you on your feet. You know, to bring yeah. food to, to the, the home. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and you just you just sh- you just shared that. So I, I wasn't going to ask for that, but now we I think we see what that is about. Um, so yeah. is, is that part, is that one of the church ministries or do the church, some people of the church go with you at times or is it just you and your wife do, do that? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we have some volunteers from our church as nice. well. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. That's a ministry that's really needed, you know, yeah. um, you know, that all believers should really go out and see that. Now let's act before we get off here. We gotta, we gotta talk about the love chapter. <laughs> the love chapter, okay. Yeah. Why, well, yeah. you know, because you know, when they, when somebody asks us about power lift, and when God gave me power lift and acronym, acronym L I F T, living in faithful truth, because you know, yeah. there's a lot of people living in some lies and some some stuff. When you look at TV, like, okay, that's how I'm gonna make my decision to live. Well, mm-hmm. someone have to come with faithful truth, the truth that's faithful, and that's what God gave me. That so when we come with power lift people listening to you guys, listening to your testimony, hearing you, that's faithful truth. That's actually God moving in people's lives. So that's what the whole purpose of power lift is. Now, when you say the love chapter, your radio show, what are you trying to get across? Is it for people that's already married? Is it for people that's planning to be married? Can single folks listen to it and go, okay, how can I date better? Tell us about the love chapter. It's, it's all of the above. What you said is perfectly correct because, um, um, so, so, so it can be from, it, it, it it's for the Christian period. Mm-hmm. We're right. Okay. It's now getting grounded in first Corinthians first yes. and foremost. Yeah. 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 So, because, because love has, love has a lot of different means. We, we know that the main purpose of love is the, the main, uh, 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 God is love. We know that. Everybody knows that, right? It's the rod. Okay. <laughs> right. That's what our pastor yeah. said. It's the rod. It's our foundation. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're addressing filial love. We're addressing eros love. We're yeah. addressing storge love. Yeah. So people right. know how to identify what love is what and what kind of, you know, what kind it. of love am I giving? What am I sharing? Where, where I need to, what, which love I need to work on. Right. And um, so we're laying it all out. We're yeah. laying it all out for for every born again believer just to grab and catch what they need. Yeah. And in turn, this love can grow. You know, your love yeah. can grow from a friendship into a romance and just uh, teaching how one can transition into another. But at the end of the day, the, the, the foundation is agape. Yeah. You know, we're all getting yeah. into yeah. that agape. We want to grow right. into an unconditional foundation, which comes from First Corinthians 13. Yeah. So, Yes, that, no, that, that, that's mm-hmm. perfect. That's perfect. So, yeah. So what happens is that we come out of a, a relationship perspective, right. but we also teach um, what, what, how you can apply it to your everyday Day life and ev- anything that you do. Right. So that's what the love chapter is right. about. Everything is based upon love. Right. Because even before you get married, you still need to learn how to operate in 
other relationships. You know, you have, yeah. again, you have store gay love, you have love for your family, you know, what you do in those relationships, how you operate with them is going to directly tran- transfer into your marriage. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. great to learn how to uh, cultivate this love yeah. and, and, and um, practice on, if you want to get married, practice on your loved ones, your family yeah. members, your friends. Great, this agape great, love. great. Well, I don't wait till marriage in order to say, okay, now I'm going to try to walk in love with my spouse. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. That's great. That, yeah, that, that, is, that is beautiful. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. What night for your show? Cause you are you in the positive power 21 family? What night for your show? Get the day and the Tuesday time. Night. Yeah. Tuesday night at 7 PM. Tuesday night at 7 PM. Okay. Now seven, that's seven um, Eastern. So it'll be six where we are. So we're in Dallas. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, okay, uh, and 6 p.m. Central, okay. Yeah, I think on the California side, that, that it would be four o'clock, so that's three hours yes. different. Right, yeah. right, okay. Just want to make sure everybody got that right. Now, what I'm going to do yeah. right now is um, give you this opportunity right now, um, um, Team um, Deborah Slayer. Let's want to call you Team Deborah Slayer. I'm going to give you this yeah. time right now to um, share with our listening audience social media, website, if you want to get phone number, email, whatever you want to do, because people can can get in touch with you, call you, if they want to be a part of the show or how to listen to the show, whatever. Go ahead. You yeah. Take it away. Outstanding. Well, you can reach us at UFL Ministries International. That's UFL Ministries International, which is I-N-T-L at gmail.com. You can also uh, reach us, if you want to look at our website, it's meals, M-E-A-L-Z, on heels.com. You'll see our website there. So that's meals, M E A L Z on heels, which is H E E L S.com. There's no spaces in between that as well. Okay. Uh, yes, as well. Uh, we also, um, you can reach us on, on Facebook. Um, I'm under Dwayne Kia, uh, which is D U A N E K E A Dwayne Kia. And, uh, my wife is under Devil Slayer Dwayne Kia. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can reach us there. That's on our Facebook. And um, that's, that's basically it. That's the way that you can reach us. Um, I also have an Instagram that is uh, Matthews Dwayne 13. That's M A T T H E W S D U A N E 13. And my wife's is Miss Devil Slayer, Mrs. Devil Slayer on IG. That's it, Mrs. Devil Slayer. All right. So okay. that's the way that you can reach us. Uh, everybody normally gets through to us at UFL Ministries International at Gmail. Uh, UFL Ministries International at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But Lady K, I know you seem to be kind of quiet. I know you're taking this all in. It's, you know, Yeah, it's just a blessing to um, see how God brings people together that yes. even yes. you can be around corner and you don't know until God yeah. um, allows connection to happen. Yeah. But Lady Amen. K, is it, is it safe to say that we can add, we can do what, we can add two more? They can add two yes, more fans? Yes, two more fans. Yes, add add two more fans to your list, man. I know y'all got a big fan sheet. You know, oh, so wow. You can, you, can add, you, can add, you can add Reverend Red and Lady K. Just put us down there. You know, I don't know what, turn over to like page 400 or or 500 and put our name down here because I know you got a big fan book, but (laughs) still fans of you guys, you know, and I'm telling you, tonight was definitely a blessing. You know, we want to shout out to, uh, you know, our guy, Jerry Roy Live. Man, I love that man. He's the greatest producer ever. He makes things happen. Uh, He opens doors. You know, God bless him. We thank God for the Positive Power 21 family. We thank God for them. We thank God for the opportunity. And I definitely thank God for tonight. I pray that we can continue this fellowship. We would love to talk to you guys more. You know, I would yeah. give um, Jerry my information so you can definitely have my personal cell phone number. You know, we'll right. share our cell phone so, you know, we can talk more. Um, the ministry that you have up there. What part of New York are you in, Dwayne? What part? Sure. Sure. We're in the Bronx right now. Okay. Because my brother, he lives in, um, well, he works in Bye, in. in White settlement, yeah. Okay. That's where he lives, what, yeah. What part? White, 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 white settlement? Did you? Yeah. White yeah, Plains? White something. White, what's it again? White Plains Road? White yeah, Plains? You no. Know, 
No, it's an area. It's an area that's <laughs> called White something, White Plains or White. I don't know the whole thing, but it's some of the suburbs <laughs> in New York. It's where all the rich people live, so that's where he lives at. But he's um, he run prestige management up there. I'm giving him free commercial time now. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> love it! Yeah. I love it. He lives, I love he it. Lives in, he lives in New York, you know. So I was shot. He's a believer in Jesus Christ. So are my nephews and my sister-in-law. But man, we love you guys. I enjoy this. Y'all made us made us laugh. The testimonies were powerful. You know, and I just want to say thank you, Lady Kay. Anything that you want to add after this before we say goodbye? No, it's just been a great show. We appreciate you coming on Powerlift. Yes, we are honored and we are blessed to have had you guys. So for our listening audience, I pray that you were blessed. I pray that you were uplifted. And I pray that something was said that was done to equip and edify you in your walk with Christ. Remember, you, you heard the show, the, the love chapters, man. I, I, hey, Sister yeah. K, Sister K. We gotta we gotta look that up so we can sit and listen yeah. to the love chapter, see what chapter we in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, I love so it. we love can it. go so we can go from there. So with that being said, we love you guys. Have a blessed night. We, there's so much more we could talk about, but because of time's sake, we can't. You know, yeah. but, um, I will be getting in touch with you. Okay, okay. and so be blessed. Um, hey, stay safe in this COVID situation out there. Stay prayerful. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. and stay healthy. To God be the glory. Until we speak Thank again, so have a great have a- night. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You are listening to Jerry right. Live have a Worldwide Podcast. Power lift. Living in faithful truth. John 8 and 32 says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Power to lift you up. Power to set you free. We need a power lift. The truth will set you free. Living in faith with truth. Receive the word you need. Power of the gospel ministries. Preach the word indeed. We here to help each other. Witness the truth and protect each other. So we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other. So let your worship cry. Let your praise out. Now let the truth offend you. Release that holy shout.